Hi, I'm Will Miller. I'm a documentary filmmaker in New York City, and I'm here with Adorama TV to talk to you about two Godox video lights, the UL150 and the ML60. The Godox UL150 silent LED video light is a daylight balanced 150 watt LED monolight style light source that features fanless cooling design for totally silent operation. Right out the box, your first impression is just that this thing is really well built. Everything feels really solid. The quick release is well made. The yoke, the handle is really solid. You can put any kind of modifier in the front and you feel like it's gonna, be, it's gonna hold really well. It's also a little bit bigger, but that's because it's being passively cooled and it doesn't have a fan. So it's just being cooled through the heat sink. And other similar lights, you'll notice, you know, they'll claim that there's silent operation, but if you stand next to them, there's actually a little bit of that fan hum. And this doesn't have any sound. And I'll just let you listen, it's completely silent. Pretty great. The UL150 is operated from an external controller, helping to keep it compact and lightweight. While its integrated umbrella mount and Bowens mount makes it compatible with the included reflector and a huge variety of light modifiers. For use in a studio like this, an AC adapter is provided, while you can also use V-mount batteries so that you can have power in the field. The dimming settings range from 0% to full power and can be adjusted using the controller or by the wireless remote. The compact ML60 LED light from Godox has a host of advanced features. The ML60 is also 5600 color temperature. It has a high CRI rating of 96, which just goes to show you how accurate it's gonna be at rendering color. The ML60 also dims from zero to 100, and it has a 32 channel, 16 group receiver that allows you to adjust the light's dimming level and it's on and off. You can manage these locally on the fixture or wirelessly at a distance with a separately purchased controller. The ML60 also has eight lighting effects, including lightning, flash, conference, paparazzi, TV, and broken bulb. It can be used anywhere in the world. It runs off 100 to 240 volts, thanks to the included AC adapter. But it'll also run off two NPF 970 batteries when you can't have AC power. So to give you guys some real world use cases for how to use these lights, we've actually set up a few setups, including the one I'm sitting in right now. So for this interview, we chose to use a book light to give a really nice soft light source with a lot of wrap. So I just wanna take you guys behind the scenes and just show you how we've set up this interview setup. And so we've chosen to use a book light, which just means that we have the UL150 here shooting off a bounce board, and then it's bouncing back through and being diffused by the six by light grid. And it's creating a really nice, gentle, soft light source as our key. Behind me is also the ML60, which is being used kind of for a hair light, for a rim light, and it's giving me a little separation from the background. Right now, just in the book light, I'm just gonna show you what the key light is doing. Back here, you'll notice we've got the ML60, and it's coming down, creating a bit of a rim light, a bit of a hair light, and I've got it up here. It's got a little bit of diffusion, just basically clamped on there, real simple show you what that looks like if I just pop it on. But it's just giving her a little bit of edge and a little bit of pop from the background. So we were going for a really soft, pleasant look. I wanna show you just how much control you have. It's one of the really nice things about a light of like this where you can have a lot of control. If I just flip it around, and instead of using the bounce, I just go straight through and diffuse this, I can get a more dramatic look in seconds. This is about as simple of a key light as you can imagine. It's just the light being punched through some light grid and creating a slightly diffused but still relatively dramatic interview shot. So we wanted to show you just another use of these lights in the same space. We're kind of motivated by the, the brick background and this cool red velvet curtain that we've got. So we went for a comedy club look. So we've set up a six by with the light diffusion coming in over top and we've got the UL150 flown over on an arm just coming in above to basically create this top light effect. If I just take it away, you'll see it's just basically giving the sense you know, she's, she's basically key lit with just a simple over the top coming through the light grid. And the only other thing we've done is in the background here, we've, we're using the ML60 as a little kicker spotlight to create that clubby effect in the background. And I'll turn that off and on for you just to give you a sense of what I'm talking about. It's kind of creating a nice hard spotlight effect on the red velvet back here and basically making it look like a real stage. And it's very nice to control these lights and you get just that nice hard edge without too much, it's, little, it's a little soft, but it's not too soft. It's just kind of just right. So it's really pleasant. And we're using the reflectors on both of these to get that, that tight control over the, over the light. For more info on the UL150 and ML60 video lights from Godox, click on the link below. Also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Adorama TV for more videos like this one. And see you next time.